Welcome back. Today is February 29th, Leap Day, a day added to the calendar every four years to keep our seasons and months aligned properly. And for people born on this day, it's extra special because their birthday technically arrives only <laughs> once every four years, even giving them a unique nickname, Leaplings. That's right. Tonight, <laughs> News 10's Mars Anderson dives into the history of Leap Year and meets a baby Leapling. Every four years, several countries around the world get an extra day, February 29th. But why is that? Harrison Marcotte of the Ella Sharp Museum in Jackson explains it simply. A year is actually 365 and a quarter days. Um, so every four years, we pretty much have an extra day that we have to adjust for. So we solve that by just adding an extra day in February. Jesse Yeager says leap years go as far back as 45 BC, starting with a notable Roman general. Julius Caesar started the whole process of having this leap day. We use what is called the Gregorian calendar. Julius Caesar threw his leap day in sort of the middle of February. And Pope Gregory is who decided, nope, we're going to put it at the end of February. And without leap years, our seasons would be thrown off. You know, if we gave it, you know, 400 years, let's say, by that time, you know, our March solstice might take place in August. Leap years might be used to keep holidays and seasons on track, but it does affect uh, uh, birthdays. Uh, Sparrow uh, Hospital in Lansing welcomed three babies quick. Thursday morning. Katie Burke says her and her husband planned for a leap year baby, which almost didn't happen, but the couple welcomed their newborn, Elliot. I hit Wednesday, like, late afternoon. I was like, okay, we're not going to have a leap day baby after all. Um, but then we did. <laughs> Seth Burke says he's excited to celebrate his little boy's big day with a little shenanigans every four years. I mean, ultimately, I think it's the same. He's, uh, if he was born tomorrow or yesterday, we'd love him the same way, but it's a cool, rare thing about him that he'll have as a fun fact. And the couple will certainly have enough time to plan. For News 10, I'm Mars Anderson reporting. Here is a picture of the first baby born at McLaren today. Her name is Ray Lynn, and she's just under six pounds. Congratulations to the new parents.